Well, it's happened once again. Democrats are again furious with President Biden. And today, I'm going to explain why. Well, let's first just say that he is going against what Democrats stand for. And again, this is why they're furious. And this is not a good situation to be in. We all know that Democrats and Republicans are in a fight over the debt ceiling. Right? This is that $31.4 trillion debt ceiling that we uh, currently are hitting every single day. Here's the problem. They're also attempting to work through issues surrounding the solvency of Social Security and Medicare. That's another major problem because right now they can't come to an agreement. They're also starting their negotiations on the federal budget for the fiscal year 2024. Again, this is where a lot of problems are starting is because they have three major issues. Well, four, because Social Security and Medicare are technically two different programs, but they have four major issues. Not to mention, there's still student debt forgiveness, right? There's still many different things that the Biden administration is attempting to get done. There's also an agenda that Republicans have, an agenda that Democrats have. And here's the thing, they're not working together. But this is why I bring all this up. Right now, there's a lot of discussions being had. And the truth is that some of the negotiations will go against what some lawmakers actually want and what they promised their constituents. For example, just to give you an idea, Democrats are furious over the upcoming proposal for the federal budget. Why? This is something that hasn't even come out yet, right? There's just been reports on this and some little leaks and some statements. But this is why Democrats are you know, a little bit upset. Some say that President Biden proposing only a 1.2% tax hike for Medicare is not enough. They are upset because President Biden is proposing a tax hike, but saying that it should be higher for people making over $400,000 per year. Again, this is going to go from a 3.8% tax rate to a 5% tax rate. But some say it should be higher. They say that a 1.2% tax uh, increase will not bring in the revenue needed to ensure Medicare doesn't become insolvent in the next few years. And that's true. I addressed this just the other day. They also want President Biden uh, to be a left-leaning president, not a bipartisan president. They don't want him to be in the middle. They do not want him supporting some Republican ideas and some Democratic ideas. They want him to be a left-leaning president. So we'll see what happens there. However, the anger doesn't stop there. We're also hearing uh, more and more reports of Democrats who are furious, absolutely furious, that President Biden isn't doing more to erase the $1.75 trillion in student debt. Remember, I just talked about this, and I've talked about this over the past few months, is that there is an attempt to push this through, and President Biden, President Biden has done this. He's done what he says is legal. Whether it is or not, we don't know. We will find out soon enough. But this is currently stuck in the Supreme Court. So it's out of President Biden's hands. He did what he had to do or what he thought he could do, and now it's stuck in the Supreme Court. But some Democrats are saying that they want President Biden to take a roundabout way to ensure that the majority of Americans buried in student debt are able to get some form of forgiveness. It's like they don't care what it's coming from or for or whether it's legal, but take a roundabout way, use whatever he needs to do. Maybe it's the, the state of emergency. They just want him to do something to forgive some of this debt because what have they done? Well, they they promised their constituents that yes, this is legal and you will get your student debt forgiven. So we'll see. But again, it doesn't stop there. What about Social Security? Well, many Democrats have vowed to their constituents that they will address Social Security, that 2023 is the year of Social Security. But they now question President Biden's tactics and his strategy. Again, I talked about this just the other day, and I said if we raise the tax rate for Medicare, that's also taking uh, some away from Social Security. I don't know what's going to happen. We're going to find out soon enough. 
But that is part of the problem, is Democrats are questioning his strategy. Are we going down the right road? And many uh, lawmakers at this time, they're not promising anything else because they don't know what they can actually stand behind anymore. But again, it doesn't stop there. Why are Democrats so furious over what President Biden is doing? Well, here's another reason why. Democrats have long been against the situation down at the border. They're against sending immigrants back to their home countries. And we, we've known this. They've been against detaining families who enter the U.S. illegally. They don't want people and families, you know, pretty much just locked in a room, crammed in a tight space in a gym or potentially a hotel. They don't want that. Let them go. Let them go. They'll come back and uh, they, they can go through an arraignment or whatever then. Well, here's the problem. President Biden is now considering whether or not detention, they should continue with these detentions. This is causing many Democrats to be furious with President Biden's decisions. And again, this move comes just a week after President Biden supported a Republican resolution that blocked a controversial D.C. crime law. But the major issue right now, for Democrats at least, is that they are already plotting their campaign for the next election, which is coming in 2024. Many Democratic lawmakers, they're just furious over the fact that President Biden is giving Republicans ammunition to take them down. The White House uh, is focusing on very sensitive uh, issues right now. And this is part of the problem. And the problem is that everybody's going to have opinions, not just lawmakers, not just the president, but you know, the voting public as well. Right? I have an opinion. You have an opinion. Everybody has an opinion. It's because of this that Republicans are simply waiting in the wings to pounce if Democrats take a step in the wrong direction. And we know at this time, Democrats have promised the moon. They promised the moon over the past couple of years, but what have they actually delivered on? There has not been a lot. They said inflation is going to come down. Inflation is coming down, but it's not back at 2%. Okay? They've said they would do more for affordable housing. What has housing done? It's gone through the roof. They said they would do more for the American people. And Democrats have provided some stimulus. But at the same time, additional stimulus causes more inflation. So it's a major problem there as well. Again, this is a very tricky situation to get through. But we're going to see what happens moving forward. What I can tell you, though, is Democrats being furious over President Biden and his decisions, his tactics, his strategies. This is not good. And I say this is not good because right now you have Democrats on one side, Republicans on the other. You have very few that are talking about a bipartisan bill, whether it's regarding the debt ceiling, whether it's regarding Social Security, Medicare, or the upcoming budget. Very few are talking about a bipartisan deal. The majority are on their own sides. Here's the problem. If you have Democrats having issues with Republicans, that's one thing. But when Democrats themselves cannot come to an agreement on their agenda, that is not good. Okay, That's going to create tensions over on that side. All right. So as soon as I get more information as to what is going on here and how we could potentially get through this, I promise I will fill you in on all the latest news and updates. Again, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Do two things. Hit that like button click that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys on the next one.